The prisoners of the Mauthausen concentration camp are released on May 5th in uh, 1945. But before this happened, I will explain how they end here. After the start of a coup d'etat by General Franco in 1936 in, in Spain, a civil war began between Republicans and fascists. Until in, 13, in 1939, the last defensive of the Republicans fell and the war was declared over. So the majority of Republican Spaniards escaped to the south of France as alleged criminals and that is why France leaves them lying on a beach where many died of different diseases. But then the Second World War breaks out and France is forced to treat the Spaniards in a more adequate way and using them as workers and recruiting them to the war. But at the end, France falls to Germans. and Hitler decides to contact Franco and make a pact saying that all those Spaniards would be sent to concentration camps since they are no longer part of Spain. Franco did not consider them patriots, and so it was. They were sent on trains to two concentration camps, Mauthausen and Gunsen. Only the sick and disabled who did not serve for the Germans went to Gunsen, which meant that in Gunsen they were killed. And with this I leave you with my partner Christian. In the summer of 1940, the first Spaniard prisoner convoy coming from Les Salles concentration camp in France arrived at Mauthausen concentration camp. There were only men in Mauthausen because women and child were sent back to Spain and given to Franco's troops. In this concentration camp, their life conditions were worse than in the Salles because in this area were two camps, Gunsen II and Mauthausen I. These two camps were level 3 concentration camps. That means that the finality of the camp were to kill people and to experiment with their body in order to get more information for their own troops. In this concentration camp, they were wearing a striped pe pyjama with vertical blue and white stripes. Unfortunately, in this concentration camp, they were killed of many forms. One of the more popular was the gas chamber, that consists in introducing a lot of people in one, in one single place and then making them to inhale poisonous gas in order to kill them in mass. Also, they'd suit them if they couldn't do the work. So, also, you can't, you can't be ill because if you are ill you can't do the work so you are useless. So the first priority in that camp was to make yourself healthy but was nearly impossible to make that because they even they were even sleeping over their own excrements. 
the conditions in that camp were awful. Also, there was a medical output that was in charge of experimented with people. For example, they make they made cuts in people in order to infect the cat and and test medicines in order to help their Nazi troops. They also made forced jobs, like carrying a heavy stones up and down a long stair. People who have tattoo in their skin, they cut their skin in order to make lamp decorative lamps with the with their skin tattoos. Unfortunately, the the declarations of people that were interned in that concentration camp said that the crematory was always burning people. That means that a lot of that hundreds and or thousands of people uh, were daily burned in in that crematory. Hopefully, we have some people that ca that could uh, walk out of that concentration camp, but many others died.